everybody. We're going to be recording this uh, just in case uh, some people may want to listen to um, the questions uh, at the end. So I want to welcome everyone and thank you for joining me. The purpose of this is to help you uh, with your vision problems. And I'm here to um, answer your questions and help you uh, educate you on maybe some alternative treatments that might uh, benefit your particular eye problem. So uh, we have a small group, which is nice. So I'll be able to give um, a lot of attention to each one of you if you have some questions. So what you can do is just simply uh, raise your hand if you have a question or just uh, chime right in. Also, there's a chat down below. Um, if you wanted to write your question in, that would be okay. And then it'd be nice too if everyone could turn on their uh, video camera so I can see you. Of course, sometimes that's not possible, but uh, that would be nice. So, hi, Di. I see both of you and Jerry. And um, I'm not sure. Martin, I guess. Martin Grossball. And we have somebody called an iPhone. <laughs> that would be me, Vivian. <laughs> hi, Vivian. Anyway, I, welcome I, to the meeting. Thank you. I have some questions and a comment. Uh, go right ahead. Let's hear your questions. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, uh, I'll, my question is about the use of the microcurrent machine, which I do regularly. I've had it for four years, but I did not know till our meeting last time that if the channel lights were on, I wasn't getting a very good connection here. Did I get any benefit from it with the channel? Okay, well, on? First of all, uh, this meeting is for prospective patients. If you are using the microcurrent and you're part of my program, uh, we do have meetings for patients. This is primarily for people um, who are new to alternative treatments and have a lot of basic oh. questions. But I'm happy you're here. But this meeting is mainly for uh, prospective uh, new patients. Uh, those of you that okay. are here, when you do join my program, I have a meeting twice a month. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody who's doing the microcurrent and alternative treatments, we get together. It's usually a larger group. And, uh, you know, we share questions and problems and suggestions and things like that. So uh, if those indicator lights are on, you're not getting any benefit at all. That means that you're not getting a current. So it's important that you do check your machine and it could be you have a, a, a faulty wire or you may have a um, defective glove. And what well, I usually recommend is we get that replaced. Yes, I called and spoke with Chris. She recommended that I unsnap and clean the snaps which I did and after with alcohol and after that the lights went off. Mm -hmm. Well then you probably the channel lights went off. But I'd be a little concerned. Yeah. It sounds like it was, uh, are, you're kind of jerry rigging it and it may be that it has to be replaced. Okay. Well there were deposits on the from probably the tap water uh, that I rates went off, the channel lights went off. And how old is your machine? I got it in 19, so four years. 2019. Yeah, probably you should have the gloves replaced. Okay. See, the gloves are... Uh, silver impregnated silk. And with time, some of the silver elements uh, 
uh, are worn from the glove and you, you tend to have a poor connection. Hi, Dr. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. May I ask Who's a question? Speaking? This is Jerry. Yeah, hi, Jerry. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Pretty good. Happy Easter. Thank you. Same to you. Um, I have a question about the microcurrent. So I understand that the program lasts three months. And then what happens after the three months are up? How do you continue to use the microcurrent after that? Okay, um, that's a good question. At one time, we used to have a year program uh, where people would sign up and uh, uh, you know, pay for continued care for a year. And I find that most people, we don't hear from them after three months. They seem to you know, either begin to get an improvement of vision, they're happy, and we don't really need to do any follow-up. So I decided in order to reduce the price of the program to just make it for three months. So if you're doing well after three months, then I would recommend you just continue the therapy as you did for the first three months. But on the other hand, if you feel you, you know, your vision isn't up to the, the level you are expecting, or maybe you develop another eye problem or something else occurs, then we have a continued care program. So you sign up for a year. And during that continued care program, uh, we make updates in your microcurrent um, machine, we maybe change the frequencies, the current, and then we also maybe will change your homeopathic remedy, light therapy, make other suggestions. But the majority of people that I treat, they're kind of satisfied and they're good to go after the three months. Now, let's say at the end of the three months, you're happy. And then maybe a year later, something happens, you develop a problem, then you can always you know, call the office up, I'll review your records, and then we can decide whether we need to make some other changes with your microcurrent machine or homeopathic remedy or light therapy. But most people are satisfied at the end of the three months. Okay, so I guess I was thinking that when I would go to my ophthalmologist from every six, my every six month um, check-in, um, that after that, I would want to have you review how things change and see if anything needs to be changed or updated. Would, how would that work? Uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to do that at no charge. You just send the records in and Chris will forward them to me. I'll take a look at it and make some su suggestions. Okay, thank you. And or, one if you have any, or if you have any questions, you're always welcome to join this group. Okay, and one last question. Can a spouse use the machine as well? I think I heard in one of your presentations that that was doable, but how does that work? Oh yeah, that's doable. We don't advise that they use your eye program because your eye program is specific and customized for you, but the stress program, the stress reduction program, the detox, the inflammation, uh, the brain and sensory, the memory programs, all those things can be shared. In fact, this is kind of interesting. Two people can do the stress program at the same time. You may ask, now how can that be? Well, my wife and I, sometimes we're watching TV uh, in my left hand, I'll hold one glove and my wife will hold another glove in the right hand and then we're holding hands. So our bodies are making a complete circuit, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So you may be thinking, well, are you just getting half the treatment? No, you're getting the full treatment, but it may drain the battery a little bit. In fact, we did an experiment, how many people we could connect to do a successful program. So he kept on lining people up, holding hands, and we did it until uh, the lights went on. You know, when the lights go on, that means that the current isn't complete. So I think we had about 10 people, 
but we're assuming that everybody's well hydrated. If one person is dehydrated, they're not going to have a good conduction. So, but there's usually not a problem for two people uh, doing uh, the microcurrent. So it's kind of a lot of fun. You can do a program together, maybe a detox together, hold hands and do that stress, even the inflammation. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, thank you very much. I can remember when my wife and I, we did the Camino de Santiago and we were walking 15 to 20 miles a day. This is a spiritual pilgrimage in Spain. And we were kind of beat at the end of the day and I had my microcurrent machine with me. And when my wife and I went to sleep in bed, we both did the inflammation program to you know, reduce the inflammation from our long hike. I don't know if you're familiar with the Camino de Santiago, but it's a yes, 500 I, mile walk. I, I heard you speak of it before. Yes, that's pretty it impressive. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was life-changing for both my wife and I. Okay, well, thank you very much for, the, for your answers. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, uh, Diane. And uh, your husband mm -hmm. is... Uh, uh, as this Joe, I actually met with yourself or talked with yourself um, about about three or four weeks ago. And um, since that point in time, we sent in our records and I just received your um, recommendations here um, last Friday, but we haven't started yet. Um, so my question today is basically to kickstart the process now. I, I have received the, uh, the list or the uh, recommendations from yourself through Chris and it makes reference there to... Um, uh, with the initial consultation to kickstart um, a, a consult with yourself to set up your frequencies for the microcurrent, uh, light therapy, and homopathic remedies. Um, so having said that, so we, we send in our purchase agreement. Uh, you guys ship the equipment out. And then I guess Chris would then set up a Zoom call with you. You tell us yep. how to set that machine. Is that how it kind of works? Yeah, I'll do the Zoom call with you, and um, it's a personal interview, and it, at that time, I'm going to find out. I mean, I already looked at your eye records, but I'll probably re review them again, and I want to talk specifically uh, to you about maybe other health issues, other contributing factors. And as, um, part, of, as part of the original call, that, that consult, <laughs> once we get the, um, the equipment in, um, you mentioned this um, a homeopathic remedy. Is that sort of when at that point you'll give us a recommendation as well as to what we should take? To right. Help our, our eye health? Okay. Um, now, the homeopathic remedy uh, not only treats the eye, but it treats your whole body. The belief is that, um, uh, you know, everything's connected. So let's say you have high blood pressure, maybe you have some digestive problems, uh, you know, all that's connected to your eye. The homeopathic approach is we, we treat you. Um, so, okay. to, so, so to get things rolling, then just, just get my purchase agreement in and then Chris will look after it for us. Yeah, then Chris will get that scheduled. and. So, um, and you talked about the three month mark. So then at the three month mark, is it another Zoom call? And then we determine, yeah, yeah. okay. And now, then, tip, typically, um, I do with the follow-up in three months, but of course, during the program, let's say the first month you have a problem, then I want to talk to you. Okay, okay. But most then, people, most people, I tell them, you know, give it three months okay. and let's see what's going on. But, you know, there may be an issue, certainly if you're, if you have a problem with your vision, if you start to lose vision or you have a headache or something like that, then I want to talk to you immediately. It's rare. But we want to address it. Five percent lean, okay. and, and then and then if there's a, Chris put another option in here. She said there's another option to have a As homeopathic well, exam right. with Dr. Kondrat. So does that is that in addition to that in, initial consultation? It's just a more some people uh, some people don't want to do the program. They oh. don't want to invest in the microcurrent. They just want to have a homeopathic evaluation with me. Oh, it's, so it's instead of the program. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got it now. Um, also this past week, um, I did actually go to a different optometrist just to sort of see what their opinion of my eyes were. And she was able to do, a, a they have a machine that can measure the depth of your eye from front to back. And in my case, um, my left eye measured uh, 
0.67 millimeters. And the red eye was 26.39 millimeters. So, it was, so basically, um, the left, which is my real problem with um, myopic maculopathy, is, is sort of deeper, 0.97 millimeters versus 0.39 millimeters. Is that you... considered to be a, a significant difference? It was 26.1 in one eye and what? I'm oh, sorry, in the left eye is 26.97. And in the right eye, it was 26.39. That's not much. We're dealing with a millimeter. Um, yeah, so it'd be like point, uh, point 0.58. I mean, if millimeter. you look at a millimeter ruler, that's not much. So in terms of eye depth, that, that would not be a substantial difference. That's a minimal, and plus there's a certain error in even measuring, because you know if they're off, the angle's off a little bit on the front of the eye, that can change it one or two millimeters. So with my vision sort of doing very poorly with my left eye here, it, it appears like just reading through the notes that, that we had received from Chris that I have both a, an AMD issue and perhaps a, 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 a cataract issue. How would a person know which might be causing more of the problem, if it's more of a um, maculopathy type issue or more of a cataract type issue? How can a die guy say which is more predominant here? Well, usually that's something you have to ask your eye doctor. Oh. So when they look in, you know, it, there's, there's a trend right now in terms of insurance reimbursement. The more diagnoses you list, the more money that the eye doctor is going to get. So if you list cataract, macular, myopia, lepharitis, dry eyes, you'll get a better reimbursement. But when I look at your records, I look at the doctor's notes and I try to determine what is the primary cause. But sometimes that's difficult. It depends how detailed the doctor is. But what we'll do is, you know, we're going to be treating um, all of the issues. I'm going to look at all of the issues. Now, one thing, everybody after the age of 50 starts to get an early cataract. Everybody. And it may not be visually significant. Everybody over the age of 60 probably has early macular degeneration. It's kind of like aging changes. You know, you start to get wrinkles. How old are you when you start to get wrinkles? And is it interfering with your life? Same thing with the retina. You start to get early macular degeneration. And I know my last eye exam, the doctor told me, I have cataracts and I have early macular degeneration. But my vision is very good. I function. I'm reading. I don't need laser surgery. I don't need cataract surgery. But I am doing chelation. And you know I'm doing microcurrent. And those things just as a health measure. Okay, so the last question on what Chris sent so that we can kind of get rolling on it is, um, she talked in a couple of places of getting a, a urinalysis for toxic heavy metals. However, yes. we, we, do, we do do EDTA chelation. So would we do that analysis anyway? Yeah, I would like to do that analysis just to see where you are. Okay. Even though you are doing the EDTA, um, that'll just affect my uh, treatment philosophy on you. Okay. I mean, if your lead is really elevated, then we may want to uh, have a different approach. Okay. So I think that test is important. Okay. So, so the treatment protocol, whether it be um, a cataract issue or a myopic baculopathy issue, the treatment is still sort of covers both both issues. Right. But I'm going to emphasize what is more severe. Okay. And that's that'd be I, I looked at your records, but right before I program your microcurrent, I'm going to see, well, is the is the cataract the main issue or is it the myopic degeneration? So if if Joe has a, an appointment um in, but it's not for a while yet with a, an ophthalmologist is it better maybe to get started on the program and then once he has more information from the ophthalmologist, we could review it at the three month mark if it's pertinent? Yeah, then we could make some adjustments. Okay. So I do think it's important that you know you get a baseline exam before 
uh, you start the program and then in three months or six months, you get another follow-up. And you usually it's, it's, you know, really um, pleasing to me to hear that they, you go back to the eye doctor and the eye doctor goes, I don't know what you're doing, but uh, you know, you don't have macular anymore <laughs> or yeah. you know, cataracts are better. I like to hear that. And then usually the patient will say, well, I'm doing, you know, homeopathy or microcurrent. And the doctor will say, well, it's nothing to do with it. It's just getting better. So is the, is the baseline, does it need to be from an ophthalmologist or an optometrist baseline good enough? It can be either optometrist or ophthalmologist. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Remember, we're, we're treating two areas. One is the baseline measurements. You know, with the optometrist or ophthalmologist, what they record your vision to be. Also, the health of your eye, the cataract. But more importantly, we're treating your vision and your function. A lot of times I'll talk to patients at three months and they're happy, their vision's better, but the doctor tells them their cataract is worse and they need surgery. Okay. Remember, we're treating your vision and your function. Right, okay. And uh, like last one for us guys, can you take NAC at the same time that you're taking an NSAID? What was the question? Can you take NAC at the same time as you're taking an NSAID? Uh, you would have to ask your uh, medical doctor that. Okay. I don't think there's a problem. Okay. Okay. The NAC is kind of an anti-inflammatory and same thing with an NSAID. So I, I don't think there's an issue. Um, right. Because uh, Chris has on, on the recommendations here, there's really, I guess, three different products that she mentioned. There's the um, Ocufullin vitamin, there's the ocular function spray, and this stuff called Ocu, uh, sorry, Ocumed. Ocumed, which has uh, uh, N acetylcarnosine and glutathione. And um, yeah, I just wasn't quite sure if you take it all with other stuff you're taking. So it should it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Okay, thank you. It looks like uh, Martin, your hand's up. You have a question? You need to be unmuted. Can you hear me? Yep, I hear you now. Okay. I like your hat. Yeah. Is, well, that, an Easter, is that an Easter bullet? <laughs> no, this, I got a lot. The way the light comes down, this is too bright. So this is. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have three questions. <clears throat> I listened to one of your previous talks about the Avazia unit, and you said it's not microcurrent, it's a frequency device. Now, when, you when I talk to them, they say, yes, it's a frequency device, uh, or it's a, it's a microcurrent device. So I don't know what you mean when you say it's a frequency device, but not a microcurrent, because they say it's just the opposite. So. Uh I well, you can buy uh, a frequency generator at Radio Shack. Well, of no, course, they're. No, no, you you said you were familiar with the Avazia unit, which I have. And you said it's not a microcurrent device, it's a frequency device. I don't it's a voltage. That. It's a voltage device, it's a voltage generator. But it generates a microcurrent. That's what they claim. It's a microcurrent device. You said it wasn't. So I'm, I'm not clear why you no, said it. I think I said it's not a frequency specific device. Microcurrent, microcurrent just simply means um, a, a certain low level of current. Very low current. Yeah. Well, this one, it, this one has that. It has several, several things and it does have a program for eye treatment. I've never used it because I wasn't sure you know, whether I'm gonna, whether that's good or bad. So I was just trying to clarify that. The other, the other thing is I called your office several months ago and I sent my records in. And on the conversation, uh, I asked about homeopathic remedies. And the lady I talked to says, you don't do that anymore because the person that made those homeopathic remedies went out of business or you couldn't get them. And yet when no, I- no. Got, that was probably there are some. So no, that was the that was the um, 
customized remedies. It was the macular formula, the cataract formula, and the floater formula. These were homeopathic combinations. Okay. So they, they, those don't exist anymore. Is that right? As far as my knowledge is, in fact, I know the company, it was uh, Natural Ophthalmics. I was the one that developed their formulas. Okay, but you do have some other remedy, homeopathic remedies on your website. Well, no, what I'm doing is I'm doing a, what they call a constitutional homeopathic remedy. This is a little bit more specific for your eye and your general health. It's called the constitutional remedy. Okay, so it's more broad based then. It's more specific for your particular situation. So the constitutional homeopathic remedy not only treats your eye problem, but it treats some of the issues regarding your general health, your stress, your emotional state. Okay. I like the constitutional remedy because I do believe that um, our emotions and stress and physical body is all tied together. Sometimes when we treat the emotional component, the physical component will get better. I'm, I'm well aware that everything's connected. Uh, one last question. <clears throat> I have InfoStar model ISO2BA. <laughs> If I sent that to you, could you reprogram it for my condition? Yep, we could. Okay, because I've got to call in to Kyle to talk about that and in general doing something. So, uh, and the other question is, there's like six different choices on this, or maybe it's ten. How many? How many? How many specific programs do you generally use? Because some of them I want to retain for other reasons. Generally, um, the machines have 10 uh, slots. Right, how many do you generally like to use? I use five. Well, that would, that would work because I'd like to retain five for other stuff. Okay. Right. All right, okay. So that's one of the options for all the patients. I program five specific protocols, usually the eye, uh, um, a program for the autonomic nervous system or stress, a brain program. Can you hold off for a second? Hello? Okay, go ahead. And a detox program and inflammation. There's a general inflammation program that I like. It's right. a go-to program whenever you have a problem. General inflammation. I like it. <clears throat> When you do the uh, uh, microcurrent, uh, what kind of frequencies do you generally use? Can, can you hold on a minute? Well, let me take, while you're taking that phone call, maybe somebody else has a question. Yeah, go ahead, I, I, I keep calling. Hello? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm talking to a guy. That's why I haven't answered. He's like Hi, Dr. Central, Dr. central nerves. Uh, okay. <laughs> This is Jerry. I have one follow-up question. If the heavy metals testing shows that you do need to correct it and you're not currently doing chelation therapy, what do you recommend? Is that what you'll recommend to do? Well, that depends on how high the heavy metals are. You know, if your lead's off the chart, I would recommend that you do maybe get intravenous treatment. Unfortunately, the intravenous treatment's expensive and you have to go to a doctor. Most of my patients use uh, rectal suppositories. There's a company called Detoximin and they have a rectal suppository. Now it's not as um, effective as the IV, but it's certainly a good substitute. And then also at the same time, you really have to be aggressive in terms of uh, proper hydration, drinking plenty of water, and also looking at your diet and nutritional supplements that can maybe help eliminate some of these heavy metals. Okay, thank you. Okay, other questions? Martin, are you done with that phone call? You have another question? My wife keeps calling because, you know, I had to basically say, wait till I'm done. I think I pretty well got everything I needed at this point. Well, that's your wife's job to nag you. Mine does too. 
<laughs> well, when she goes to the store, there's always a hundred questions because when I go to the store, there's no questions because I know what I want. But when she goes, it's a thousand questions. So what can I say? I guess we're good for now. All right, but there are a lot of good questions that you folks have. Any other questions? Uh, so Dr. Conrad, we have the um, the general phone numbers for the office for, for Chris, uh, the 8166 number, for example. Do you, do you actually have any um, direct, <coughs> direct phone numbers for yourself or emails to yourself, or does everything have to be routed through to Chris? Well, whenever uh, you send an email to info, I review all of those. Oh, I receive see everything from info. Oh, I thought that only Chris gets those. No. In fact, my wife gets them. I get them. Chris gets them. I don't answer them. It's Chris's job to take care of that. And she kind of funnels it to me. It's just impossible for me to answer all of them. Yeah. Okay. So, so you do see the emails. And then for phone number 8166, that's the only number to really contact you, I, I guess. Or oh, well, there's two numbers. There's the... The 602 number and the toll free number. Can you repeat that, sir? Um, the six, what's the 602 number? <clears throat> let, me, let me get it for you. It should be on the website. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, and then go, to, in, go to healingthei.com. I don't know the number because I never call the office. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Oh, 602 989 8166. Okay. And if we send in our, our, our purchase agreement this afternoon yet, how quickly is it before you guys can kind of package up the equipment and get it shipped out? Uh, well, Chris will, uh, she'll be in Monday morning, and I talk with her every day. And, um, and then I want to do the final programming on your machine which I, you know, have a 24 hour turnaround. Okay, so it'll be-, it'll be And then I send, I send your particular program to uh, Inspirstar, the company, and then they ship it out to you that day. Okay. okay. And that, 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 that light, the, the light therapy machine comes through at the same time, does it? Yep. Well, it's not a machine. You get a, 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 a certain color of glasses, a certain wavelength of glasses. Oh, that's what it is. And then you'll buy you'll buy a light bulb and a gooseneck lamp, and you do the light therapy. Okay. You'll walk. You'll, you'll, you'll walk, Chris will walk us through what to buy. And yeah, we have um, we have three or four uh, videos uh, on YouTube, okay. uh, which explain everything. You know how to do the microcurrent, how to set up the light. It you know takes you step by step. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And it's it's kind of interesting, you know. Folks used to come to Florida or Arizona and spend a week with us, and we would train them and educate them. And it was actually quite expensive for the uh, person because they had to fly and they had a hotel accommodation, plus spend uh, time in the office. But after COVID, we were forced to develop a home program, and then. Um, we find that the results were just as good with the home program, which is a benefit to all the folks out there who are interested in using these alternative treatments. And I think it is kind of personable because, you know, we have these meetings to, uh, periodically, which are really helpful. Yeah. So when you join the program, you'll be part of our, uh, my a twice a month meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. We have that the first and third Saturday. Okay. And you get to meet all the people that are involved in the program and we discuss different things and how, you know, we can improve your results. And it'd be like a Zoom meeting like this here, like um, Chris will send us a link of some sort yeah, uh -huh. it'll be a Zoom meeting like this. Yeah. You just patch in. Okay. So basically, you have, I guess, two types of consults. You have the, well, there's maybe three or four, but you have the consults like now here for the people who are trying to get into the program. And then once you're actually in the program, there's sort of this first and third of the uh, Saturday of the month 
follow-ups and kind of Q&A type things. Is that how it all right. fits together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this meeting here is for prospective patients, maybe people that have just found out about me. They have a lot of questions. You know, what is microcurrent? What is light therapy? It's really not for people that are in the program because they're usually more knowledgeable. This is like a basic uh, question and answer. So we we contacted yourself and the program because of Joe, but I have a question. So I have basically it's it's one or two degrees degraded from where it used to be, but um, twenty twenty vision still. Um, and so I have good eyes. Thank, thank, thankfully, I have good eyes. But if if I was to use like a, a microcurrent or the light therapy or something, is do you, do you ever have people sign into your program as a preventive? I, like I'd rather not wait till something goes wrong to to say, okay, well now I need some help. Is there is there anything that you have in your program that would be more preventive? Uh, the best prevention, I believe, is uh, really looking at uh, your diet. You yeah. know, we are what we eat. Yeah. You know, colorful food will give you colorful vision, proper hydration, and detoxification. Okay. I really don't like people doing microcurrent and light therapy for prevention. That's oh. a lot of effort putting in. Okay. I think you really have to look at... Um, you know, improving your general health, exercising. In fact, my book, The Ten Essentials to Save Your Sight, the first three chapters deal with uh, diet and nutrition, hydration and reducing stress and okay. detox. Those four things. In fact, if you do those things, you'll never need microcurrent or light therapy. You know, unfortunately in our society, um, we're putting a lot of... Uh, really horrible food into our systems, genetically modified food, preservatives, and um, there's toxins everywhere. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you for that. So one thing you might want to do is you might want to do the urine test for yourself. For the heavy metals. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So talk That's to Chris good. about that. Okay. You don't have to join the program. Just let's see where you are and you may want to do some. And... Uh, uh, start to look at uh, the food you're serving. You know, I'm a big advocate of uh, raw organic. I have a nice big salad every day, raw organic, and I reduce the consumption of uh, meat uh, and fish. Um, you know, eating really colorful food and keeping well hydrated, drinking plenty of water. Um, there was a book written, Our Bodies, Many Cries for Water, Dot Dr. Batman Jaldi felt that proper hydration could treat and cure many chronic disease where most of us are in the dehydrated state. Yeah, no, very good. We, yeah, we do oh, virtually. Tom Brady. Tom, that? Brady said the, Tom Brady says yeah. the key to his success is he drinks a lot of water. I don't know how much water he drinks a day, but it's a phenomenal amount. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you. So you don't have to be a good performer like Tom Brady, but you <laughs> keep your body healthy. Yeah, sure. And I see, I see you're lighting up. Do you have a question? Yes. Is it? Yes. Uh, I'm calling from London. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm really interested in uh, what can possibly be done when the cornea has failed? Uh, well, it depends the reason for the cornea. You, what, what is the problem that you have? Well, the problem that I have is, uh, well, the, I've, I, I have a problem with glaucoma. My, my notes have not yet come to you. I'm in the process of getting them from the hospital to be sent off to you. But um, in listening to some of the uh, uh, questions that have been asked and the answers given, um, you know, I thought I would just uh, listen in as well before the, you know, what, until you receive my, my notes. But yes, uh, I've had uh, two operations on the cornea 
for a, for a replacement cornea and they have both failed. And I've, I've also got a bare valve tube in the eye, which is draining macular edema, which has uh, been working quite well, but I've also got glaucoma in that eye. <laughs> Oh, so I don't know if it's the tube that is preventing the cornea from attaching properly, but uh, they have both failed. One lasted a year and the other one lasted maybe just a, uh, oh, well, it didn't attach at all, really. Well, usually there's a common denominator, even though you have a lot of different eye problems, there's usually a common denominator that links everything together. And one of them is just inflammation. Uh, you know, I see. The inflammation can be causing the a problem with the glaucoma, the cornea, and the macula. So one thing we like to do is to reduce the inflammation. And, um, you know, the microcurrent does that, light therapy. And um, one of my favorite treatments is homeopathy. And of course, you're in England, and homeopathy is very, very accepted in England and London, in fact, I, I deal with the homeopathic pharmacy in London and Helios. It's one of the top homeopathic pharmacies in the world. You have a lot of good homeopaths in, in your country. Oh, I see. Yeah, some. Mm, and the king and queen. They, um, the royal family uses homeopathy. <laughs> yes, I've heard that. Yes, yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah. you know, I'd have to look at your records and make some recommendations to try to turn things around. But it's important that I do try to uh, understand you have a complex situation, but I'd like to know exactly what's going on with the cornea, the cause of the cornea problem. Yes, yes. So really I have to get my records over to you. That seems to be uh, you know, uh, a fundamental is uh, factor to be addressed. Mm. Yeah, because one problem is sometimes the patient will describe uh, problems. And then when I look at the records, it's a completely different issue. I see, yes, yes, that's uh, that's a possibility, yes, mm. yes. But I have, I have heard what you have been saying about um, the importance of proper hydration and uh, uh, proper diet and so on. Um, yes, so I'm also trying to address some of this, also trying to get more exercise in. But um, I, I'm just a little bit worried because of the tube that is in the eye, which is part of the problem for the oedema, and uh, wondered if that was perhaps one of the main reasons why the cornea was not attaching. Well, the tube yeah. is probably essential to help to lower the intraocular pressure. So there's probably yeah. a hierarchy of uh, uh, disease states that has to be addressed. And sometimes if the pressure is really high, that's the number one priority lowering the pressure. Yes, yes, yeah, mm, yes. So I, I'm in the process, as I said, of uh, ensuring that uh, my records get to you so that you are um, fully aware of what the eye is uh, <laughs> going through. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as we get the records, I'll review them and uh, Chris will contact you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thanks for joining the meeting. Thank you. And hey, Martin, your hand's up. You have a question? Martin? I think you're muted. How about now? Now I can hear you, yeah. Follow up. Uh, I've got the Infostar program. I'm gonna to talk to Chris. I'm assuming since I have the program or the Infostar, whatever the cost is would be different than a person that didn't have one. Yeah, it will make an adjustment on that. It okay. depends on the model of your machine, but I think we can work with your machine. Okay. How old is it? It's, uh, it's a, like a 2014, I've got a model number if that helps you. Yeah, we should be able, you may need a firmware upgrade on it. Right, okay, got it, okay. Uh, what, uh, let's see. Uh, my general problem is uh, open angle glaucoma, elevated pressure. I've been taking Lantroprost drops and I've gotten the last reading down to 16 from 20. 
And I just, I just listened to your uh, discussion with Dr. Schellenberger about rectal ozone, which I have that machine and I've been starting to use that. So I may be halfway to solve my problem, but I'd like to have the discussion with, your, with Kyle anyway, of course. Yeah, I like the uh, the rectal ozone it can be very effective, but I do think that the microcurrent. See, the problem with glaucoma, glaucoma is more than just pressure. Right. It's the health of the optic nerve, right. and we got to do things to improve the health of the optic nerve, improve the circulation, oxygenation, uh, and of course, ozone will improve the oxygenation. Exercise will improve the circulation and oxygenation. Proper hydration, you know, get those little tiny blood vessels flowing. You don't want your blood to be real thick. And, um, uh, you know, uh, getting rid of heavy metals. When you have glaucoma, your optic nerve becomes very sensitive to insults, such as heavy metals, toxins, and things like that. So you got to really do all those things. It's more than keeping the pressure down. It's what yeah, we can do to strengthen. I understand that part. Uh, Good. The inflammation is a big thing, of course, too. Because uh, I think that that's one of the things I would like to attack. There's, I think general inflammation is largely one of my problems. So uh, uh, the, the other thing is uh, you listed uh, five frequencies for the infrastar, could you could you give me what those are? Because uh, my well, these are five uh, these are five protocols. Yeah, like one, like one was inflammation. I don't know what the other four were. Well, the first one is for your eye. I customize the program for your eye. Okay. The second one is a um, uh, stress or relaxation program, depending on your situation with your autonomic nervous system. The third one is a detox program. Right. The fourth is a brain program. The who? Uh, the brain. Oh, brain, okay. Because you need a good brain uh, to see. You can have perfect eyes, but if the brain isn't functioning, you're not going to be able to function. You're see. Okay. And then the fifth one is an inflammation. So there are the five that um, are mandatory. One other thing. Those five have... are the basic. One other thing. I have a, a like a minus 19 diopter uh, problem. So my retina or whatever it is, is really stretched. My vision is pretty good, but I do have that situation that most people probably don't have because I've had been nearsighted and it's got progressive myopia to the point. Yeah, my, minus 19 is, uh, is up there. Yeah, in fact, when I had the cataracts out, I can almost see except for astigmatism pretty good because I, I don't need a lens. So anyway, I don't know if that would modify your program, but if it is, I'm interested in what you would do differently for someone that, with that condition. Anything? Oh yeah, we have a we have a myopic program because when you have myopia, your eyes stretched and the retina is really thin. Yes, it is. So we have we have some uh, frequency specific for that. So that would be a sixth one then. For, in my so case. that would be all combined with your eye program. Oh, be with the eye. Okay. All right. So there is a custom form. Okay. Well, put it this way. Your eye program just isn't one frequency. Got it. We may have 30 or 40 different frequency pairs that go into your eye. For example, somebody may have glaucoma, cataract, and macular degeneration. Right. Okay. Got it. Well, this one that uh, for myopia, would that actually shrink it? I wouldn't shrink my eye, it's just gonna make it more healthy. No, it would just make that retina healthy. It's pretty hard to change the structure of the eye. That's what I figured, it. okay, got it. I'm not saying it's impossible because there's all kinds of theories about why you get progressive myopia. It could be the tension in your eyes that are squeezing it. You know, if you take a ball and you right. squeeze the ball, it's gonna get longer. Right. So it could be tension in the eye muscles. This has been going on since I think fourth grade, so it's uh, been a long time coming. All right, you've answered my question. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks for joining the meeting. Yeah, good questions. And Diane, you have another. Sure, we got two more for you. Um, number one, um, 
my grandmother, God rest her soul, used to always say to me, um, Joe, do eye exercises like um, stretching, like look far up, far down, left, right, cross angles. Um, are eye exercises something that's good for your eye or do they inappropriately stretch your eye muscles? No, no, I think eye exercises are very beneficial. I, um, I, I like Dr. Uh, uh, William Bates who uh, wrote a book. In fact, there's a chapter in my book on the Bates exercises. Uh, they can be very beneficial, exercising your eyes. And do you, do you ever see patients anymore, like in your clinic where you actually will do an actual eye exam on a, on a patient? Or for the most part, you never see people anymore one-on-one? -on -one? Like, yes, uh, actually, since COVID, yeah, uh, since COVID, I haven't seen anybody physically. Okay. And actually, it's um, I'm enjoying uh, you know the remote. Uh, essentially, I review your eye records. I talk to you, and so no longer seeing patients uh, physically in person. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? A lot of good questions this evening. Or this afternoon, rather. Oh, there's somebody on an iPhone. Do you have a question? I, I, uh, this is Vivian. I would love to share an experience very good experience I had with the microcurrent right off the bat when I first started it, if, if I could take a minute. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I was in Florida for your conference that you invited uh, your clients to participate, I got the uh, microcurrent machine and the, the program with the vitamins and the various um so a week from then i was uh staying at a friend's in florida and had a tiny tv in my guest room that i could not read the print crawling across the bottom of the screen at all so i opted to listen to the program and to do my eye treatment with my gloves and my microcurrent machine for, I think that's about half an hour treatment. So when I was done with the treatment and removed the gloves, I could read those letters at the bottom of the tiny TV screen perfectly. Wonderful. It was a, such, a, such a dramatic and amazing experience that I, highly recommend your micro program and have had you know great success with it so you know for the people that are on the edge i'd say go for it if you're wondering whether that could help you it most definitely does mm -hmm. well thanks for, sure. for you and thank i you find it very that. relaxing my brain just feels better after the eye program so uh, I hope you all have wonderful experience with it uh, as I have. <laughs> okay, thanks, Vivian. Appreciate that. Thanks, Vivian. That's awesome. Yeah, we do have a lot of testimonials on our website. Uh, we used to videotape people right after the program. And if you go to my website at the bottom, we have a lot of testimonials of people that we treated. And I'm hoping that those of you out there that are considering it will be part of that group that have good success. And you know, one of the reasons why I do what I do is that I always get upset when eye doctors tell patients there's nothing else that can be done. And I think that's wrong, that there's a lot of things that can be done. And, and uh, you know, I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. I've done a lot of surgery, cataract surgery, corneal transplants, glaucoma, and sometimes operations are necessary. But what about the individuals who are suffering with a chronic problem, macular degeneration, who have had surgery and not getting better? 
that's where a lot of these alternative treatments can help. And sometimes I feel that it's much better to begin the alternative treatments before drastic surgery and medications. You know, the body has a, an amazing ability to heal itself. And uh, if we stimulate that healing process, we can yes. definitely restore vision. Right. I also, at, I'm 75 now, but at 73, having used this program, went in for my eye exam. My vision had improved measurably. And my regular eye doctor commented on it. <laughs> that uh and, and i just said well it's a faithful use of the microcurrent program and uh you know so i did have definitely had success with it <laughs> good all right well we're coming up to a close uh, of the session i want to thank everybody for joining and we will be having a prospective patient meeting uh, every month so um, uh, I'll be emailing you for the next meeting. I believe it's going to be the second uh, Saturday of every month around this time. So I want to wish everybody a good weekend and a happy Easter. Thank you so much for joining. Any questions, just uh, get in touch with the office, okay? Thank Take you care, so much. Everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.